Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. It's a daily challenge today. We are, oh, I'm uploading right now. Okay, let me stop the upload, which is going to be unfortunate, uh, but it's got four hours left anyway, so that's not going to finish over the course of this video. Close that out. Come back. Daily challenge. It loaded. Leaderboards. We're going to Isaac as Maggie. Doesn't bother me. 701 yesterday was actually pretty disappointing. Um, not to, to sandbag, like, oh, I belong in the top, you know, whatever percent. But um, it was a it was a bad performance because of the, pretty much exclusively because of the teleporting that I did uh, to get out of the hush fight, which uh, it was deeply regrettable, but hey, we learned something. We still finished in the top 1,000. Continued our top, you know, 1,000 streak, which is becoming less and less meaningful the more, you know, kind of leniency I give it. Let's try to get back on the horse today. Gimpy's fine. Uh, friendly Fly is okay at best. If we're being real here. I don't mind Maggie as much as the average, uh, you know, Binding of Isaac player out there. Did they buff Friendly Fly? Bear with me here. I thought Friendly Fly, like we've had it before, a couple of times at least. And every single time uh, I've uh, used it up till now, it's done like way fewer ticks of damage. Now it looks like it's doing almost the same ticks of damage as a, uh, a normal attack fly. And that's much better. Previously I was like, oh, maybe it does like less ticks, but like more damage per tick. No, it seems like now it's actually just like an attack fly, which is much better than it used to be, I think. Oh, and this will allow us to get through Duke of Flies' defenses very, very easily. He is dead. How ironic. I had the boost, she had the chronic. The Lakers beat the Supersonics. Felt on the big fat fanny, pulled out the jammy, and killed the poonanny. Sorry, does poonanny need to be censored? It's a silly enough slang word that I thought it would be. It's okay. Anyway, um, I don't even remember what we just picked up because I'm so excited. No, um, it, I was going to say it was ironic that we beat uh, Duke of Flies with our own fly hoisted by our own bedard. But in the same uh, sense here, we just picked up Sack of Pennies. It's... I mean, it's okay. Probably over the course of the entire run, maybe gives us one more item from the shop if we even have the keys necessary to get to the shop, which we probably will. I'm just saying it's not a, a foregone conclusion necessarily. Uh, we have a golden chest here I would love to access, but uh, probably will not find the ability to uh, on this floor, or at least not immediately. Try to shoot as much poop as it makes sense to. Ooh, a nickel for free. Now I'm starting to like the sack of pennies. You didn't tell me sack of pennies was actually a, a sack of nickels. You didn't tell me it was a sack of Jawea dollar. I don't know, is that the name of the coin? I, I know that there is a denomination of currency known as that in the U.S. I found a uh, an American 50 cent coin, and I'm not talking about Curtis Jackson. In the parking lot the other day. And the Canadian dollar is... Uh, Curtis Jackson was not in the parking lot. I'm sure he drives, you know, he's, he's wealthy, I guess, but... Uh, Every time I say that, people go, well, you know he just declared bankruptcy, but yeah, we... Come on! He rode in the club, man! Rode and performed it! Oh, no, 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 no. That was very unfortunate. We took some red heart damage here. I, as much as I'd love to... Well, not really love, but as much as I'd like to say, like, oh, it's my own fault for taking that damage, and to some extent it was, at the same time, I'm like, Jesus Christ, no spirit hearts at all on this floor. I guess if we'd gone in a different direction, we could have gone to the, the shop faster... Probably bought a spirit heart and been good to go, but uh, at this point I don't really want to... Well, now that I have two keys, I will. Um, there is no spirit heart anyway, so we'll work on getting that uh, steam sale, which will hopefully help us out in the future. Could have placed this bomb better, no doubt. Tammy's head. I don't know if it's amazing right now, but it definitely beats uh, Yum Heart. Yeah, damage is actually pretty good from that. We get a pill, the pill is... Question mark, question mark, question mark. At least it didn't teleport us out of the hush fight. Not that I'm still bitter or anything. Wow, okay. Um, maybe we won't be able to buy anything here. That's disappointing. I think it's given us Curse of the Maze. Now I'm just paranoid. Whenever I get the question mark card, I'm like, Curse of the Maze. It gave us Curse of the Maze. Uh, just checking. Yeah, probably not going to be able to buy Steam Sale. But we still could get a deal with the devil here. Who's our boss? Monstro. Dub Monstros, not too bad. It's not the greatest boss fight in the world. It is just a tribute, but we can still get through this, navigate it safely through the waters. 
and the eddies of this double monstro fight. No deal with the devil, though. I'm not going to say I deserved one, but man, that sucks. All right. Down to the next floor, I guess. This, I can already tell. No spirit hearts, Maggie. A lot of people are going to be uh, complaining about this one. Not in my comments. Well, I mean, they're always, which is oh, totally fine by me. I'm a complainer myself, so I understand you. Here we go off about that dude at the deli counter. But um, we'll do that room, just not yet. Because I want to make sure I can have the best chance possible to get a spirit heart. Um, before we get into fairly difficult rooms. Ooh, that was very close. Um, but uh, a lot of people complaining probably on Twitter. Like, man, this daily sucked. Shitty daily, shitty daily. Uh, and, uh... What? I didn't... Okay. Look. That's my own fault again. Look, uh, I gotta... Remind myself that uh, I'm the only person responsible for my own mistakes, but at the same time, I think that the fly occluded or covered up the uh, the bone, and I was very confused there. Also, Maggie's speed does not help there. Um, well, let's just keep going this way for now, but we will go to our mob trap room now. Trade one bomb for two bombs back there. Tammy's head, I still have faith that this carries us. Let's keep in mind, you know, we're not uh, we're not going to the Mega Satan fight here. We don't we're not subject to the same terms and conditions as a lot of the runs that I've been doing lately on hard mode. Instead, all we got to do is get to uh, get to Isaac and beat Isaac. That shouldn't be that tough. You know, we we've been down that uh, that road before. I will trade one bomb for well, that actually worked out really well. But uh, I I realize we should probably go back and get the other one. The, the two bombs for one bomb deal. Okay, Dark Bomb. Fantastic item. Probably means we're getting a deal with the devil on our next floor. If not this floor. As much as I would love it to be this floor. That was bad dodging on my part. I uh, I can't really uh, blame the game for that one. No, stop with that one. Do the arm attack. Oh my god. Got to... Undo focus here. There we go. Okay, you're almost dead. Just stay up, 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 stay up. We can do this. We still technically can qualify for a deal with the devil. We got one. That is actually kind of outrageously lucky, but I'll take it. And we don't get precedent regardless. Just a bunch of spiders. <sighs> we get Hogalaz for one cent. Is that worth it? I don't know, man. I'd rather take a chance at something a little bit more. You know, outrageous than one cent. Yeah, this room is where we get it. Get a chest out of it. <laughs> that gave us three cents. And actually, there's another penny back there. So it was a good idea, but... Ooh, you got a spirit heart for me? Yes, you do. Obviously, looking for a... Uh, a key? This is a strange room. This looks like our secret room to me as well. Alright, we're starting to get a little momentum here. I can feel it already. There's been an awakening. Can you feel it? I find myself, like, weirdly kind of hyped for The Force Awakens. Um, despite not really being a Star Wars super fan, you know, I've seen the films, I like them. Most of them, anyway. Well, at least half of them. But, uh, I think what I'm realizing is, hey man, that's the power of marketing. You think you're like a grizzled, uh, you know, mid to late 20s, uh, curmudgeon who's immune to the marketing machine? Nah, man, Disney's, like, you're Disney's target audience right now. Now that Frozen money's finally started to dry up and you don't hear Let It Go 19 times every time you leave your house. Well, we'll just wait till Frozen 2, but, um, you, uh, you're their target audience, man. It's all Star Wars now. Star Wars and Indiana Jones. Almost had the wrong cadence on that. Star Wars and Indiana Jones. That doesn't... <laughs> I don't know why that's like, I don't mean this to be rude. And if you are from New Zealand, stop me if you, if this offends you. But it sounds kind of like a New Zealand cadence, like a Flight of the Concords thing. It's like Indiana Jones! Something, I don't know. I've gone too far. I'm the Donald Trump of YouTube. Not making it political. I'm just saying, you gotta admit, man has some outrageous opinions. And either you go, yeah, I know it's outrageous that he's one of the few who has these opinions, or you go, I mean, it's outrageous that he holds these opinions to begin with. I'm just saying, he's got, he's got opinions, man. Opinions are like assholes. He's got one. And so do so do we. I don't know where I'm going with this. But I do know that we're about to complete this room and I'm feeling pretty good about uh, where we stand on our uh, on our daily challenge now. We're fucked for deals with the devil. But uh, Boss Rush looks... I mean, we're like a minute ahead of Boss Rush right now. 
Unless I'm, yeah, we're a minute ahead of boss rush. Um, since we're not going to the chest, I think the best course of action here is you just Diplopia and then get a free copy of everything. So we'll take our Spirit Heart. We got another Spirit Heart there. We'll take our pill. It's locked down. That sucks. But we got a two of diamonds, so we'll take that. And we'll also buy this and then just double it because that's, I mean, obvious, I guess. And then we'll leave. So, I mean, Diplopia there. We went in with 15 cents or 20 cents. We came out with 46 and a lockdown. It's fair. I think it's pretty good. Could have been better, but, uh... I mean, Diplopia is the kind of thing where it's an awesome item if you can take it somewhere. But if you can't take it anywhere, you're just like, okay. You know, I, I could use it on this shop. Usually it'll pay for itself. I think it's, it's one of my favorite items in the game. If we're going to the chest. If we're just going to the chest and having some fun, absolutely. Uh, well, we could do that room, but I think it's probably more sensible, at least from a point standpoint, to pop Hanged Man on this room. Oh, come on, though. No counterfeit penny. Beautiful. I don't want anything to replace our, uh, lucky toe right now. Well, I, uh, that's not true. I would like many things to replace our lucky toe right now, but, um, I don't want counterfeit penny to be the, what, what the replacement is. More bombs, more pennies. I'm starting to think we're gaining a little bit of momentum here. I wonder what percentage of people actually managed to qualify for that deal with the devil on the first floor. What do you think, like 30%, 25%? Oh, that's fine. We can, we can actually take a hit on a floor now without being like, hey, our our daily's in, in ruins here. Oh, Dark Bomb. Good day to be you, man. Damn, I wish I was your Dark Bomb. I'd gobble up your red hearts. Give you spiders for your loving. It, you know, there's some work to be done there, but at least I've gotten off the uh, Iggy Azalea train and we're back on, you know, classic early 90s uh, fodder there with Sophie B. Hawkins' Damn, I Wish I Was Your Lover. I talked about this on Twitter, but um, Sophie B. Hawkins' Damn, I Wish I Was Your Lover, you know, if you don't know it, maybe I didn't do the best rendition of it, but you've probably heard it in a mall or something somewhere, even though it's a song that has a lot of searing emotional uh, attachment, not for me, but like, I mean, she's obviously passionate as she's singing it. If you see the music video, she's running around, rolling on on the floor. Um, she's, it, it's a song, it's pretty self-explanatory, most of it at least. Damn, she wishes she was your lover, um, but... At, there's a, a line in the second verse, stanza, if you will, where she says, I'd give you something good each and every time you come inside my jungle book. And I was like, wait a minute. When you say come in a song, and I'm talking about every song, you're not talking about, uh, you know, the act of arriving somewhere. Unless you're arriving at the state of orgasm. The capital of which is Glanstown. Um... Glanstown Orgasm. I don't want that's like a fucking Captain Beefheart song. Um But I was like, is she really comparing her vagina to the jungle book? And the answer is yes, if you go on Genius, you know the the lyrical site, the site that dissects lyrics, as uh, one of my friends so happily pointed out to me. Sophie B. Hawkins, the you know, present interpretation is that she's saying that her her vagina is like the Jungle Book because it's such a, a I guess, a deep and mysterious uh, adventure. And I, those are not my words. Those are her words, like, by the implied subtext of, of what she says. Damn, I wish I was your Mowgli. I'd float down all the... I, I haven't seen the Jungle Book in, like, a long-ass time. But he, like, floats down the river on Baloo's belly or something, right? Ah, I was not getting out of that room without taking damage. Luckily, Dark Bum and Gimpy have, like, colluded to make sure we don't need to worry about that shit at all. Actually, we're going to be at full HP soon. Uh, I I mean, I want to do the boss trap room, and I recognize there's a double key room back there. I didn't want to do the double key room until I was sure that we would be set. We can do this. Um, on keys, and we're actually not set on keys, so maybe this is one of the few runs we're actually not going to reroll. We got a range upgrade. Oh, it's huge. Amazing. Uh, I'm gonna go. I, I have to go. Like, we're not gonna get into that mob or boss trap room. We could have looked around for the double key room, but I've, I've got to have allegiance to boss rush as well on dailies. That's just like, you know, if, if you don't like seeing occasionally some sacrifices made to ensure that you get to boss rush, uh, you, you shouldn't. Oh, thanks a lot, Doc Bomb. You shouldn't watch the dailies, man. They're just gonna frustrate you. That's not me saying, you know, if you don't like in Napoleon, you can leave. That's me saying, like, this is the way it is, man. If you don't like the smell of uh, of chicken McNuggets, don't uh, don't do your taxes in McDonald's, right? 
Uh, we've all, we all remember that classic Wayne Gretzky quote. If you don't like the smell of chicken nuggets, don't do your taxes at McDonald's. This room is going to take me 80 or 90 uh, human lifespans to finish. So, you know, just queue up Sophie B. Hawkins. Damn, I wish I was your lover. And you'll be, you'll be there. You'll be there, man. If you remember being there, you weren't really there. Half of the people watching this were conceived at a Sophie B. Hawkins concert. The other half are Sophie B. Hawkins. No, I don't know. There's there a better joke in there somewhere. <sighs> Damn, I wish I was George Carlin. I <laughs> you get it. Um, Dark Bomb, I have faith in you. He's going to be... Yeah, he found it. And then we can skip the riffraff here. Okay, we have no keys left. Tammy's head starting to, I wouldn't say overstay its welcome, but it's like, hey man, I got a lot of potential. I could be like a medical professional one day, and you're you're holding me back here with these like, you know, Fast and the Furious style street races. Could you please provide me with some extra damage so that I can reach my full potential? And I'm like, I'm trying, dog. If I could get some extra damage, I would I would love to. You'd be the first one to know. I guess we'll stick with our luck upgrade. Thank God we've gotten, you know, that two two of diamonds cards are uh are 99 cents. Plus about 15 on top of it so far has really served us well over the course of this run. Yeah, okay, this is good. Bomber Boy, I really like, actually. Synergizes well with a lot of items. Usually causes me to hit myself about 8 or 9 times per, uh, per run. But that's okay, life goes on. Just get out of the way. Secret Room provides us with uh, probably a Spirit Heart. Yep. And an extra bomb as well for the, for the cost of doing business here. Uh, hopefully... Well, I mean, probably my best course of action now is, you know, oh, that was dumb. Walk into a room, Tammy's head, drop a bomb if the enemy's not uh, even close to death, and then just uh, see what happens after that. Maybe we can hit the enemy a couple of times. That was that was just really, really poor damage on my part there. I don't have anything else to say about that one, except I, I pushed it a little too hard. Misjudged Maggie's speed. I think we're all guilty of that from time to time in our in our, you know, in our lives. We're all human. Aren't we? I, you know, I know I'm harping on this Sophie B. Hawkins thing, but uh, ever since I was reminded of the existence of that song, like, you know, three or four days ago, every time I shower, I get the same, st uh, same like, parody song stuck in my head, and it's, Dan, I wish I was your geesling. And I'm like, I'm trying to write it, but I can't get the lyrics to work, but it's like, I'll be the head of your household. Nominate whoever you told. Something like that. Dan, I wish I was your Giesling. It just works, man. Dan Giesling, of course. Uh, wow. Unfortunate. But noted Big Brother champion. Uh, and also mutual friend of the show. Not to brag or anything like that. Um, I guess we fight the angel. Right. Don't stand there. Um, and why do we fight the angel? Because it gives us points. We don't have to deal with the devil precedent. Might as well fight the angel. Get it over with. Let the fly do some of the talk in here. We gotta go. Like, I, as much as I would love to go to the shop, and I really would, not fucking with you, we gotta get the fuck down. Because, uh, we gotta make it to our boss rush pretty shortly. I'm stoked that we have Tammy's head, so, like, boss rush is... At, at least we have items we can use every single, uh... Every single wave, but... We have, like, very, very little damage. And I think that's on me, honestly. I think this is one of those situations where if you, like, skip... Or if you manage to miss the first floor deal with the devil, you might be missing out on a, on a, your own jungle book, you know? You might be missing out on a, on a wealth of, of treasures. We will do this. Man, I've had Trinity Shield so much lately. Oh, don't stand there. And the, the number one thing I've learned about Trinity Shield is that I have no fucking idea how to use it properly. Uh, but in spite of this, it does help. It's helpful. Of course, by accident, now I have a run that is capable of getting to Mega Satan, whereas on Lilith and Kane, apparently, I can't make this shit happen for the life of me. Obviously, we won't be able to actually go to Mega Satan, but... It's, uh... It's the thought that counts, maybe? But yeah, you know, I, I have had sometimes... I, I tend to have, like, really... And I don't mean that I'm playing well, but most of the time when I do a daily, I'm like, this is a daily that has enough in it to win. Uh, and sometimes I'll be like, hey, Twitter... Fun daily today, huh? And people will be like, what are you talking Were we doing the same daily? I had, like, no damage, no HP, speed was so low. And it oftentimes comes down to, like, just one butterfly effect factor going differently. Like, I can't remember if it was yesterday's... I guess it was yesterday's daily. 
Um, where I was like, it was fun, but I teleported out of the room accidentally and, and fucked it up. People were like, what do you mean it was fun? Like, I had no damage. And then I was like, alright, I got that black market that... It might have been a, a rarity. Not not everybody might have picked that up and... Uh, you know, that, that could completely change... Oh, I really thought I could make that dodge. That one wasn't stupid, it was just... Mistimed. It wasn't like I just forgot about what was happening there. Um, we gotta, we gotta go. I, I'm sorry to do this, and I know we took damage in the process, but... We gotta try to make our way to boss rush. This room's gonna take too long. I'm a little, a little pissed. Not pissed. Pissed at myself, I guess, but also frightened. And, you know, being pissed off, there's, there's fear involved. That's, that's one of the many cocktails of emotion that come from that. I'm doing this just because, oh, fuck you. I want to make sure that I can go to our shop here. Um, I, I don't know if boss rush is going to be a possibility. If boss rush is not a possibility, we got, we got problems. You know, we're not going to make it, uh, very quickly here. We could teleport out of boss rush. Our points are going to be fucked as well, is, is the other thing there. And there really is, like, very, very little damage on this one. That's okay. That's, you know, it's a challenge in its own right, isn't it? Couple of lucky Tammy's head hits. Let's just skip some rooms, more or less. No, I'm looking at this and I'm like, there's no way. It's just not conceivable anymore. Oh, Dark Bomb is your chance. I know there's a Spirit Heart back there. We gotta go, though. Oh, we can make it! All is forgiven! That being said, we may die in the process, but no, I believe. Just throw down some bombs, hope they go off appropriately. We're out of bombs. Shit! No, it's okay, it's okay. The deal with the devil is less important. Plus, we already found it on this floor. You fools! No! No, you dicks. All because there's these two, two flies remaining here. Oh, we're fucked. We're not fucked. We're fucked for boss rush. Maybe not for the hush, but... Man, our damage... It's all gone south, man! 18 seconds shy there. Alright, well, we'll take this. We'll head down. You, you know, there's a little... Uh, maybe I'll pick it up. We'll head down to the next floor. I know we missed the item room there. I guess we should have full carded out, but... I've, I've lost morale. And I'm, I'm hesitant to even mention that, because whenever, you know, you get salty in, in an Isaac run... There is a certain contingent of people who are like, well, if you don't like the dailies, just don't play them. Look, I love the dailies, okay? This one's just hard. You know, if you're running like an Iron Man... Like, 400 mile foot race, you know? You don't go, oh, this is uh, an enriching experience during it. You know, after it, that's what you tell people, probably. But during it, you're like, my kidneys are broken. I'm gonna die, right? But this is, you know, I, I, I trained for this. I know I can do it. That's how I feel right now. You know, I would have loved to... I would have loved to be able to do boss rush. I would have loved to pick up some awesome high damage items. But I'm still... It's the struggle... That makes it enjoyable. It's not the it's not the victory, it's the struggle, man. Yo, Dark Bomb, pay out with the fucking spirit heart. Because I want to go into this cursed room and I can't do it right now. Um, but maybe some point in the future you'll find it in your in your heart to do that. At least we haven't picked up a speed down the entire time so far. I'm pretty stoked about that. Damn, I wish you were little Steven. It just works for it. So for so many things. You give me little homing tears. Brush my hair and quell my fears now. Help. Uh, no, we're fine. Apparently. Ah! Uh, I, I saw it happening, and I was like, man, maybe with any other character we would have been able to get out of the way, but not with Maggie. Was it the best use of a fool card? Probably not. This is the first daily I've done in a long time, where I'm like, we may actually die before the completion of the, of the daily. Probably will not, but we pretty easily could... Dark Bomb is really doing a lot to kind of buoy us here. I've gone through so many phases on this run, you know? Oh, we're good! Oh, we're fucked! Oh, we've got to... We've got to, we can fight Mega Satan? I mean, we can't get to him, but we got the key piece. Like, it's, it's a very strange one. I wonder 
how much of it was caused by that first floor or, or second floor, I guess, deal with the devil miss. Could have changed everything, man. This is, uh, it's not my favorite daily of all time, but I appreciate the struggle. That was a total whiff. I'm gonna step inside of their jungle book, give them a little what for. It's, not, it, it's actually a pretty good threat. Don't make me come over there and step inside your jungle book. Come inside your jungle book, but then the threat becomes very uncomfortable. I don't know if Sophie B. Hawkins considered the long-term repercussions of her equating uh, her genitalia with the fav famous uh, Rudyard Kipling novel. Damn, I wish I was Rudyard Kipling. It doesn't really work. Uh, that's okay. Mostly because I can't figure out how to quickly say the word, or the name, Rudyard. I always thought as a kid, anyone else with me on this? Whenever they were like, it's it's Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book. I was like, Roger Kipling. Got it. No problem. You you must have made a mistake, Disney Vault. Don't tell me. When I was six, I knew all about South African author Rudyard Kipling. Don't even give me that shit. You had no idea. You were just singing the bare necessities along with the rest of us. You think you're too good for us? Help. Well, um, man, I'll tell you one thing. I really do not want to fight the hush on this run. <laughs> it's it's not just a, uh, you know, a, a HP, damage, speed, defense related issue. It's more of like a, man, that's going to take 100 years and I will definitely die kind of issue. But if we, if we make it, we got to try, obviously. Holy shit, we got to deal with the angel. Please be like Sacred Heart. Uh, it's Seraphim. I mean, that's, it's something, right? Let me take a drink of this coffee. And also, actually, let me hit space. And then pause the game temporarily. And go over here and talk to, talk to my stream bros. And say, hey, might be a little late. Daily is running long. Not too long, though. All right. I was really, for once, hoping this double key room would save our entire run. It didn't. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The uh, mm-hmm is like the universal sign for that mouthful of coffee was way too big. Can't swallow it all in one go. Need a little extra time. Well, okay. Uh, I feel like by average uh, met metrics, this is a pretty bad run. And I'm not, uh, I'm not afraid to say it. But I also feel like a lot of that badness is attributable to ourselves. Uh, I, I'll own up to that. You know, we, we could have played better at a few junctures in this run. I'm, I keep beating myself up over this idea that maybe if we'd just not taken damage on that second floor. And it's not like... It's not like I, I'm beating myself up too hard. Like, I didn't lose, like, eight spirit hearts and then get hit and go, Ah, oh, fuck. You know, oh, pin hit me! You know, it was... They were tough rooms, relatively speaking, at least. But I, I'm not very proud of the fact that I didn't get it, or that I did get hit there. And uh, that that easily could be the difference between, uh, you know, success and, I mean, a lower level of relative success here. It was like I was trying to become like a, a dentist, but then I I got sidetracked, and now I'm like, oh, I'm like a, I don't even know what I'm, I only do endontics. You know, you're like, hey, that's impressive. Don't get down on yourself. Real life gets in the way sometimes. Sometimes, I guess. Everybody needs endontics. I don't know what they are, but maybe I've had them. Uh, Spirit Heart. No, I probably should have picked that up then. I may need the HP. The money is, is just outrageous here. Uh, I don't know, man. I Yeah, okay, I'm happy with it. I don't know what I'm looking for when I bomb those. Because I may need those bombs. Because it's looking increasingly likely like, uh, you know, there is no benevolent force in the universe. And they're going to give me the opportunity to fight Hush. Tears Up's actually really good. But if they give me the opportunity to fight Hush, obviously I'm going to do it. And if we fight Hush, it's going to be like a pain in the ass. We're going to really want these bombs to be here. 
We only got three of them. Still using like friendly fly to do 30% of our damage. Maybe that's my own my own personal problem. Uh, you know what? I'll take this one. I think you're about to pay out anyway. Told you. you got two and a half minutes. That is not uh, a small amount of time. In Isaac context, anyway. Secret room contains a bunch of poop. Not worth one of our many precious bombs, or a few precious bombs. I'm surprised we actually managed to kill him that quickly. Yep. Here is our, our moment of truth. Now we do have Trinity Shield. Maybe Trinity Shield against the Hush is like an undue advantage I'd never considered before. Uh, yeah, ah, uh, no, 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 no. If we're going down to the Hush fight, we should take Paperclip with us. Wow, I forgot that my shield is not a mirror shield. It does not block beams. Um, we are, we're not gonna get a deal with the Devil here. I think we should probably just own that fact. But what we can do with Trinity Shield, at least during these attacks, is just stand here, block the shots, and then let uh, the attack fly, or friendly fly, do the majority of our damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, gotta move. Okay, that's fine. We made it! And we're gonna be able to fight Hush. This scares the shit out of me, man. I can't believe we made it so quickly to Hush as well. One day, one day we'll get that, we'll get to redo this seed, we'll get that deal with the devil. I don't want any of these shitty items, game! Ventricle Razor, oh thanks for your support, okay, well we'll take this, we'll take this, we'll take the devil, that maybe is pretty good, we'll take the bomb. It, uh, I don't think a Ventricle Razor is bad by the way, we're just not gonna replace it, replace Tammy's head with it. We'll take five extra bombs, uh, that also will home. Abel, Rusted Key, wow. This is a, uh, it's like they didn't expect anybody to be here. It's like when you go over to somebody's house and they're like, sorry for the mess. You know, I didn't think anybody was good. I didn't think we we're going to have company today. Sorry for the shitty items. I didn't think anybody was going to show. Damn, I wish you were blue candle. Well, I mean, we can do this. That's a little scary. Okay, yep. I was like, can lightning strike uh, twice? I guess not. Can we stand right up in there against Hush? I mean, most of his attacks are not homing tiers. At least for the first little bit. When he st starts firing continuum shots, I don't know what the hell we're gonna do. I'm trying not to dodge so that I can actually get the best value out of Trinity Shield, but... Uh, I'm not sure if this is our best course of action. Like, I I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we totally end up beating Hush. Probably doesn't feel great that we popped our Devil Card already and still took like eight minutes to kill this guy, but... What the fuck hit me there? Was that a rem like a remnant shot? Now Trinity Shield is, is a little dicey here because of the uh, because of the shots that come in from an angle. I don't think that hit me. Just we're being clear here. And I'm trying to do like a little sweep. No, this is not going to work. So I, I've tried to use Trinity Shield to the best of my ability and uh, hemorrhaged a lot of damage in the process. Wow! I am actually completely fucking this one up. Those bombs are not doing quite as much as I thought they would. Like that. That looks safe to me. That was actually very dumb. I'm also- okay. I'm not actually pissed about this. Even if we die here, I'm not disappointed too much in myself. But I am like, where the fuck are the gimpy hearts from me getting hit? We've been hit like eight times on this fight. No gimpy hearts? None? I... This is probably a situation in which I should have looked at it and said, We're fucking... Of course we're not gonna do hush. Are you kidding me? Look at our HP. But I'm trying not to be defeatist yet. Look at that. We just got a, a red heart in there. Come on, Dark Bum. Yeah, Dark Bum was ready. And I got hit immediately after. Almost three times, but... Only once, thankfully. But it's a real bad situation for us to be in. It's going there. It's going. It, it made it. Don't hit yourself with a bomb. That'll be... Fucking cause for alarm. Oh my god. How many red hearts did Dark Bomb just get there? I know I'm not hitting him right now, but... 
Gotta do what we gotta do. One one friendly spider doesn't piss me off too much. I mean, at least it's not an angry spider. Ah, oh, shit. At least it's not an angry spider, and also, you know, thanks for your, your support. These guys have a huge chance to drop red hearts. Holy shit, we can actually get out of this. Dark Bum, you go buck wild, I'll keep myself alive up here. Okay, continuum shots. We gotta take out these familiars, though. Or these, these dudes he's following around. Oh, yes. Okay, we're back in the saddle, baby! Somehow. Oh yeah, spawn some more of those shit disturbers. This is the best day of my adult life. We, we might as well kill them with a bomb, because we want as many of them to die as possible to get spirit hearts out. Even if we can't hold the spirit hearts right now. Oh, Gimpy paid out with like an actual heart. An actual spirit heart, I should say, but still. Oh, this is going to take forever. Um, I am going to be late for the show. There is no doubt about that. You do these dailies, you look at them, and you're like, Oh, going to the cathedral. How long could that take? Definitely not 45 minutes. Here we are. I know it only says 33 minutes. We still got another floor to do. And uh, that's 33 minutes of game time. I paused the game once, talked some shit. I think we're safe here. We can do this. I have faith. This is a little bit less cool, though. I'm really not uh, stoked about the fact that it's taking me like three shots to kill each enemy, by the way. But that's, you know, that's the cost of doing business, I suppose. Pretty tight dodges in there. I mean, it's not, you know, Toho levels yet, but it's something. We got something going on. Trinity Shield pointing straight ahead. We're like 80% of the way through the fight. Maybe. Don't move. You can get that spirit heart later. You can get that spirit heart now. This is actually like... This is heinous. When I said we still had one floor to go, that might have been a little optimistic now that I think about it. Oh! Come on. Why, why dodge right into that shit? But we were saved by an incredible gimpy payout. Oh, there was a dark bomb pickup somewhere. Dark bomb, don't don't drop anything yet. Oh, I'm almost dead, but we got the spirit art back. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh god. This is like exactly what fighting him as the lost is like when you have a uh, nod leaf, you're just waiting for him to get into the right area. And there come the red hearts again. Oh shit. Dark Bomb, you better have something for me, man. I'm getting hemmed in! Oh, I'm dead. Alright. Well, this daily... Jesus Christ, this was a disaster. I apologize. How did Luke do today? He's still going, man. That was a long one. Thanks for watching. This was a bad daily. Uh, if you... Uh, on my part. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Ugh.